Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about how memory is allocated to functions. In our previous classes, we already discussed about the basics of functions. Uh, and in our first classes, we discussed about uh, how memory is allocated to variables. So, these concepts will help you a lot in understanding this class. Uh, so, please watch our playlist from the beginning so that you will have a better understanding of the complete Python language. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, this class will help you a lot in writing efficient code and in understanding our next classes that is a recursive function. So it is very very important to understand. Let's take an example and understand how memory is allocated to functions. So first we have to understand in order to execute a program in Python, it will assign some space in the random access memory. So first in the random access memory, it will assign code space, global space heap space and stack space. Uh, what is this code space? This code is converted into machine level language and it is saved here in the random access memory, the code space allocated for this program. Now coming to global space, uh, the global variables are maintained here in this uh, global space. Uh, heap space is used to maintain the objects that are defined in this uh, program. So, heap space is used to maintain the objects. Stack space is used to maintain the functions. So, let's take an example and understand step by step what these spaces are and how what happens when the execution started. The example which we consider here is this is a function f of x is a function and this is the body of the function. Next f1 of y is a function and this is the body of the function. Next coming to our code a is equal to 1 we are calling the function f function here. After that f1 of a we are calling f1 function then we are displaying the a variable. So from where the coding starts executes it starts executing from here a is equal to 1. So a is equal to 1 whenever the line a is equal to 1 executes what happens thus in the space that is allocated for this program. So that we have to understand whenever the a is equal to 1 1 is an integer object in, we discussed in our previous classes everything python in python everything is an object. So, 1 is an integer object. So, what happens here is after executing this line a is equal to 1. So, this one object it is saved in the heap space. In the heap space it will the in order to save this object 1 it will assign some space in the heap. Let us assume that the space assigned here is 50th memory location. In 50th memory location 1 is saved. Usually binary value will be saved for understanding purpose we are writing it in the decimal format. It is not 1 binary format of 1. The space assigned here is 50th memory location. A is a global variable. A is referencing to this memory location 50. So, that reference will be maintained in the global space. Uh, for understanding purpose, we have written a is equal to 50. It is not a is equal to 50. a is referencing to 50th memory location. So, that what ha happens in this uh, memory. So, that is what we have to understand. This understanding will help you a lot in writing the coding. Uh, so, next after executing this line, this line will get executed. What this line is? It is calling the function f. Whenever we are calling the function, so what happens now in the memory location? Whenever we are calling the function, this function for executing this the code of this function, it will assign some space. Our Python compiler will assign some space in the stack. So why why we need that space? Why we why this function need that space? In order to save the variables that are present in the function, the function is having a, x is a variable, z is a variable that are present in the function. In order to save the references of those variables, it will assign some space in the stack. So x is equal to when whenever we are calling the function, we are sending a means the reference of a is sent to the function, and it is saved in the variable called x. So, x is referencing to the memory location 50. After, after assigning x is equal to 50, it starts executing the program. So, what is the next line it will execute? z is equal to x plus 1. So, x it will go, it will search in, in the space assigned to this function. 
So in that x is equal to 50 from the 50th memory location, it will get the object 1 and it will add 1 plus 1 means 2, it will create a new object 2 and it will be assigned in the heap space, assume that the space assigned for that two object 2 is 40, the reference is maintained here, z is equal to 40, z is referencing to the 40th memory location, whenever the next line will be executed, print z. So, when, uh, if, if the function wants to display the value that is present in the Z, so what it will do is it will search in the space that is allocated for this function. The space allotted is uh, this space, in that uh, it is maintaining the variables. Uh, it will search for Z, Z is equal to 40 means 40th memory location and it will get the object and display the object, the output 2 will be displayed. This is how the function space will be assigned and the and it will get the variables from, from the function. The important point which we have to understand here is after completion of the function, the space allocated for, for this function will be deleted. Now the function execution is completed. After execution is complete, after completing the execution, the space, these variables will be deleted. The space is no more belong to this function. Now the stack space is empty. No function has been mentioned in the stack. This is very, very important. Means these variables are not there. This space is uh, empty. But still the object is present in the heaps, heap but no variable is referencing to this object. Now coming to the picture garbage collection. So what is garbage collection means? It will delete the space that if see, see here the object 2 is not referenced by any of the variable. Previously it is referenced by the variable z. Now after completion of the function z is not there. So what happens, garbage collection program will execute and it will remove this space. If an object is not referenced by any of the variable, then this space is removed automatically by the garbage collection program. That is what the need of garbage collection. In order to save the space in the heap, if it is removed, we can use this space for another variables. So that is the need of garbage collection, unwanted space will be removed, unwanted means if no variable is referencing to this memory location, then that space will be removed. The, uh, next coming to that, uh, this line of code has been completed, the function will be, function has uh, executed. Next, uh, f1 of a, again new function is calling, whenever the function is called, what happens? Uh, new space is assigned to this function for executing this function uh, some space has to be assigned where the space will be assigned in the stack uh, now the stack is empty because uh, the f of is already completed in this stack space it will assign in again for the variables for saving the y and k variables it will assign the space uh, this function start executing uh, it will get the variables from the stack uh, from the local space and it will this function executes after completion of this function again the space will be removed from the stack the variables all the variables are removed from the stack that is very important to understand so after completion of f1 of a then it will print a this is how programs execute in a in python let's take one more example and understand how functions execute in our and how memory is allocated. Let us take here a is equal to 1, b is equal to 5, f of a. These two are global variables, that is why the variables are say, the reference to the variables a is equal to 1, 1 is an integer variable, it is given space 50, 5 is an integer variable, it is given space 30. So the references are maintained in the global space a is equal to 50, b is equal to 30. Whenever the function has called, what happens? It will assign some space in the stack. So it will assign space x is equal to 50, z is equal to assume that z is given a value 40, but here we have to get values from x plus b, x is available in its local space, the space assigned for this function is uh, this space, in that space it will search for x and uh, b, x is available here, x is equal to 50, it will go to the 50th memory location and get the object, but b is not available there. Whenever the variable is not available in its function space, it will go and search in the global space. 
it will go and search in the global space uh, this point is very very important this point we already discussed in a uh, scope of variables uh, this is how it will maintain the memory organization so this is all about uh, functions and how memory is allocated to functions hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you